that's what was one of the fascinating things about playing the, the character was he is the, the character who holds the key to the whole thing. As, as you watch it, you will see more and more mysteries beginning to be spun around uh, Lucy. But the, person, the only person who understands what's going on uh, is Gideon. So um, uh, it's, it's, I think it, it's quite satisfying to see how that is unpicked and see where it's going. Uh, and I'm looking forward to the audience discovering what it is that, that he has over her, as it were. Um, we shot that about two thirds of the way, and we hadn't done much together. And there it was ten days shooting in a windowless cell, and he was handcuffed to the table. And it was just so fun. I, I mean, it shouldn't have been, but it was kind of joyous because I just got to watch him monologue at me and be completely sad and touching and then menacing and chilling on the turn of a dime. And you're just like, whoa, how, you know, it was just a brilliant thing to watch. Harold Slade, I know that that name means something. I can tell you the first week that uh, I shot with Peter, um, I can't give away too much, but it's basically head-to-head um, -head with him. And that was, you know, my, my sort of yeah, inner, like, young, aspiring actor was going like, oh my God, it's Malcolm Flippin' Tucker, um, it's the doctor, and I had to remember, remember I had to do my job. But um, yeah, it's a joy, you know, he's, he's one of our greats, and I think the performance he turns in in this is really exciting, dangerous, surprising, funny. Um, I also think the casting of Benji was really crucial because I feel like this series is a love letter to motherhood. I have a young son and I can't imagine mothering a boy who gives you nothing back. We all know how hard it is at the best of times. Um, but it's, I can't, you know, he just gives her nothing. And I, that tenacity that she has with him, I find brave and inspiring. And I um, was in bed and he, I don't know how long he'd been standing there. <laughs> You know when they're just there, and you're like, oh Jesus, what, what? And he's just like stroking my face. <laughs> Absolutely terrifying. Uh, yeah, and when I was shooting this, uh, I lost the ability to sleep. I was in a, they put me up in a house really, you know, kindly because I was shooting away from home. And I just, it was like a big house, and I was on my own in it, and I was like rattling around and I'd come home from that shoot and just couldn't sleep. It was horrible. Really what's at the heart of it is this existential philosophical idea. Um, it's not quite sci-fi, it's not quite fantasy, it's some, it's not quite science, it's something else um, and I can't talk too much about it. But that's really the heart of the idea and that's where the show came from. If you watch this show you will begin to understand your nightmares. And you should listen to your nightmares because they have things to say to you. Very deep indeed, yes, very deep.